<laughs> what do you mean? Are you flushing? I think Clay is flushing. All right, I have my mom here with me right now. I think we did this video like two years ago. I want to say two or three years ago, where I asked my mom questions that you guys are too oh, no. afraid to ask. So we're gonna ask them again, and these are some oh, no. interesting questions. They're like questions that you're like, oh, I never would've thought of that. That could be good to know. And questions that I'm like, oh, wow, why would you ask that? So, please don't hate Should me Should I be this. scared? Oh my gosh. Um, you can blame my Instagram. Thank you guys for answering all the questions on Instagram. If you guys don't follow me, go and check out my Instagram. All right, uh -huh. let's get started. Are you ready, Mom? No. We're starting off with a banger. Woo! When can I have kids? Oh, well, that happens after you have sex. <laughs> I would prefer that you are married. Now, I know people don't have the same beliefs as we do, but I know that it is very helpful to have a partner that can help raise your children. Definitely. Okay, okay. But normally I would say 35. Oh. How old are you? I'm just kidding. First job? <laughs> 21. Can I go on birth control? Or like if other people would ask if they can go on birth control, what are your thoughts on that? Um, okay, so birth control is good for multiple different things. So birth control is good if you have periods that need to be regulated. So like if you're really irregular, um, even if you're not sexually active, going on birth control can help regulate your body. I'm going to tell you, there's so many hormones in birth control. It made me wacky and crazy. And if you could avoid birth control, I would because... What about for like cramps? Someone was saying like, can I go on birth control for cramps? Um, you totally can. I don't know if it would help either way. Th that's one thing that you have to like talk to a doctor and then they would like examine you and like see if you have problems. Okay. Is it okay if I get married young? Well, 19. I was married at 19. So <laughs> I think marriage is a huge decision and not to be taken lightly because you can marry someone that's not right for you in your forties. Right? So like, I don't think age necessarily means that you're guaranteed a good marriage because mm -hmm. a good marriage is just means you have a lot of hard work that you do that both of you put in. So I think that's fine if you get married youngish. I think I would have a problem if it was like, Oh, I met a boy at spring break and now we're going to Vegas to get married. I'd be like, what are you doing? You don't even know him. This one's this great. Is true love real? Yes. There you have it. There you have it. What's your opinion on sex? <laughs> it's great. <laughs> what do you mean? Are you, are are you blushing? No, I think Clay is blushing. Sex at a young age, sex at an old age. Sex. I don't know, just opinion. They just said, what's your opinion on sex? I think that for a healthy marriage, sex is important. Okay. There we go. Let's move on. <laughs> is there anything that you regret doing? Let's do two. Like before mm -hmm. you got married, any regrets like dating a boy or... I think like if, if we're talking about relationships, I regret... I did date a guy and we broke up and we get back together and we broke up and we get back together. I think because I was worried about his feelings um, and not like I didn't care about him. That sounds like kind of impersonal, but... I was worried about his feelings so then like when he would be like no we should get back together and then I would and then I would realize no we broke up because you're very emotionally controlling and you're mean right like so like at that point I had gotten back together too many times I regret that because that was a waste of time when I could have been dating other people and learning more about myself what I learned there was I was weak in the sense of getting back like I cared about his feelings when at that point he had already lost the ability for me to care about his feelings, right? Mm -hmm. Does that yeah. make sense? Yeah. Is there anything you regret like once you got married? Like married oh, okay. until now? Hmm. I think as a parent you regret a lot like when you scold the children or when you get upset at something for some reason and then you see this little girl crying her eyes out. Oh. So cute. I think I scolded Evie once because she broke a plate. <laughs> <laughs> and I have this picture of Evie holding this plate. She's like, and her eyes are gray. Aww. It was so sad. I regret like scolding her and I was like, I'm sorry. Were there any guys that you were against me dating? Or guys that you were like, oh, you should not, mm -mm, mm -mm. Kinda. Well, there's that one guy that you kissed that we're not gonna talk about. <laughs> he was, he's, meh. But no, I'm glad that you didn't actually have a relationship with that one. Did you know he wanted to, like, have a relationship? Probably. And I was just in that stage where I was just so desperate, you know what I mean? Or, like, I'm just like, oh, like, a relationship sounds so nice, so you just kind of spring into anything that Yeah, yeah, and that's shows stupid. Up. But then I realized, I was like, oh, wait a second, you're not compatible with me whatsoever. No, Never mind. no. He was, like, a hard pass. Oof. The other ones, I think you learned a lot, and they were nice humans. Mm -hmm. Um, And so, like, um, yeah. 
Okay. Were you afraid to get pregnant? Um, no. I was afraid what happens after you get pregnant. Like birthing a child? Yeah, that's scary. Yeah, that does sound That's scary. freaky, guys. I know. Shoving a Wait, watermelon. What? Out your hoo ha, guys. <laughs> I'm sorry, you might have to censor that. Getting pregnant, I think, because I was mentally ready to get married because I had dated a lot of people and I knew myself. And then I wasn't wanting to get married, but then it just kind of happened as we were going to college, right? We were like, oh, we fell in love and that happened, which was great. Oh. And then eventually, you want to have kids and so when we like talked about it and we prayed about it and then we felt good and we knew that it was the right time to get pregnant we went off birth control so I was mentally ready for that mm -hmm. then you get like nine months to like mentally prep for birth I'm sure that like prep um like mentally preps you but also like scares you yeah like because you yeah. like you don't know what to do because out. they're not gonna say like oh yeah well everybody feels that like this and this is how it happens no everyone's different and every birth is different which is so freaky why did you pick dad um, Someone asked that. Don't ask me. That's funny. Someone was like, why did you pick dad? Like, why did you pick him? He made me laugh. I laughed with other guys that I dated, but I laughed way more with Jace. He made me feel like a princess. Now that sounds like weird, but like when I was around him, he would compliment me. Mm -hmm. He would like say how beautiful I was, not in a creepy way. Um, and then he would like... A, adore me yeah which is so different than being like hey babe you're sexy no you know what yeah. I mean? like he would adore me like, like the you way can he looked at me feel it in yeah. yeah yeah so that was different like that was that was like if like I felt his love in that manner um but more so like personality wise he was funny he like knew what he wanted to do even though that changed like a million things a million <laughs> times but like he was he determined had that drive. yeah he had that drive he was determined and you know, they always say, like, you you look for qualities in your opposite sex parent, right? So, like, yeah. my father, there were certain qualities. Like, my dad could fix things. He could figure out how to fix things. He was, like, great at a lot of different stuff, and, and so is Jace. Mm -hmm. And so those might be similar char characteristics that you look Absolutely. look for in a, a, a spouse or someone that you're dating. Anyways, so, yeah, he was great. What are, like, let's say, what are three red flags when dating someone that are, like, oh, my gosh, like, this is a no-go? Um, a guy I dated was emotionally controlling and I didn't realize it because not everyone's gonna like Show something like that when you first start dating. He would say things like no, it wasn't like that Like I said it like this and I was like no you'd said it like that Like you're getting you know like upset over different things. He wasn't necessarily gaslighting me But more so like he was he was changing truths and I felt really insecure about myself around him And that's I think that's like a huge like if you don't feel confident and like good about who you are when you're around someone, then obviously like something they're doing, um, or even something that you might be doing inside yourself because of them is affecting you. So it, like a red flag to me would be someone that is emotionally controlling or fit. I mean, like obviously physical abuse is a, is like a hard stop right there, but like em emotionally controlling or emotional abuse is really hard to notice at first. Um, and so that's something that would, to me would be like a red flag. Do you care or how would you react if I came home with hickeys? One, <laughs> it takes a long time to get a hickey <laughs> in one area, right? Clay, when she was little, used to suck on her arm and give her something. I didn't know what hickeys were and me and Raquel somehow like <laughs> suck on her arm. that and then we'd do it and we'd be like, look mom. If you like try, and you should, time yourself, how long it takes for you to get a hickey. Now granted, usually hickeys happen on the neck because that's what they say. Mm -hmm. But like, and your neck is a little bit more, like it's the blood vessels that are closer to the surface. Um, I would be like, what are you doing making out? Because that's so weird. Like it's when you make weird. out, you don't necessarily just kiss and suck in one place. That's gross. <laughs> like, that's like weird to yeah. stay in one zone. Yeah. Like, no, normally, like, at least kiss, like, the mouth, maybe kiss the neck, go back, you know what I mean? Like, it's weird that someone's like, and what are you doing? Are <laughs> you just sitting there? <laughs> you would be grounded. Okay, last, wait, actually, two questions. When is it okay to shave down there? <laughs> to shave your hoo-hee? <laughs> um, <laughs> your hoo-hee, Hoshley? I mean, that means <laughs> covered in Hoo-hee, Hoshley. I have done that myself, and it hurts, <laughs> so I would not suggest completely shaving. <laughs> Um, because it's really... You shave with the hairs. 
it, it, it can nick and that is so painful. Well, and then when it's growing back, it just is really Oh, grow itchy. back is so horrible. Okay, last question. Most important thing I should know and they should know when preparing for the future, like the most important advice you would give someone for the future. I think when anyone makes any decision for the future, any decision for anybody, um, it would be to know oneself and that's the hard thing. So getting to know yourself takes time, like whether you are spiritually inclined, if you converse with the Lord or you pray, that is extremely helpful. If you do other things to a higher being, like you meditate or you, you know, like ponder about your situation, I would not do anything lighthearted and on a whim when it comes to future decisions, which I'm assuming you mean big decisions. Yeah, yeah, yeah. College, changing careers, or changing colleges, or moving. I think for any future, I do a pro and a con list. Mm -hmm. I look at it, and then also I keep my end goal in mind. Like, what is the end goal? So, our end goal is always to create more family experiences and time together. Mm -hmm. And so, if the end goal of like, let's move to this place um, can do that, can create more of those experiences, then that's awesome. Good mm -hmm. for, you know, it helps your end goal. Mm -hmm. If it doesn't, and it seems to be a little bit more on the negative side, your cons are bigger than your pros, then obviously it might not be the best choice. But if it's like equal, or at least like it's still higher in the pro, then we, then we turn to pray. Prayer. We pray a lot, guys. We are really okay. faithful people. But if that's not your thing, honestly, meditation. Because one, you should not make decisions when you're angry. Mm -hmm. You should not make decisions, um, Instantly, so if like an opportunity comes, it should not be something um, a big opportunity that you make decision like right away. Like at least give yourself a, like a couple hours or a day or so to make that decision. Right. I would just say that. I don't know. I like that. I hope you guys enjoyed this little chit chat, and hopefully it helped you. And yeah, thanks. Bye. Guys. Bye.